Welcome back to Boca Place, uh, episode 37 of our Inca campaign, and uh, we're just, this is going to be just a maintenance one. We're moving some troops over so our revolt risk drops in all these places, and uh, we're just kind of hoping that our uh, cores finish native uprising in Diamante, and we're going to just build some boats, Spanish La Plata, internal conflicts, Spanish Brazil. Uh, I don't know. They must just be having some issues with uh, <laughs> with their uh, natives, which we'll wait for unrest here. As you can see, we kind of dropped it down. The only place that there seems to really be unrest in is the Zara Zara. It's at two percent, so I think we'll probably be all right, and that'll go away as soon as we're finished uh, with our with our cores and some other stuff and dropping some war exhaustion down. So, really, I need to build some boats, which we'll do. Let's see, I want to have 18, uh, 18 of our cargo ships, our flutes. So that would be merchantmen. We'll build two. And that leaves us with seven more ships. So I think what we'll do is build galliots. But let's first, well, I don't need Galliots. Let's first see if we can upgrade these guys and how much that's going to cost. Uh, 121, that's fine. Six ships will get upgraded, fine. So that actually turns these all into early frigates. It's good. Let's uh, build seven more early frigates. Right? Yeah, seven. We'll do five. Two, three, four, five. And then let's do two more galleons. Actually, let's not do you guys there. Let's do uh, another early frigate here. And then we'll do two galleons. Bam. Hopefully, these guys will come off on this side. But if they don't, I guess it'll be a fun little trip around. I guess if we can afford it. What's 16 times 20? Eh. Let's just see what happens. Let's get you guys to here. We'll get these upgraded as well. And since we're not too terribly worried about it, let's make some more money here. Let's do this. Side with one family, let them fight it out, or lose diplomatic power, or lose diplomatic power. That's fine. Chan Chan has been converted. Let's see how much of a cost. 324 to get those 16 ships upgraded. Sounds like a plan. And just, uh, I guess, back to the waiting game. Percent of the Portuguese Patriots. Civil War in Bennett. Don't know where Bennett is. Chocolate wood. Rio do Sol. Excellent. All of our boats have been upgraded. Everything's being repaired. Um, De Martina is getting close. What was I going to do? I knew there was something I was going to do. The question is, what was it? Oh, let's just do the autonomy thing here as well. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're already taking in enough that it's not going to be a huge, huge deal. Let's see, where else do I have revolt risk? Uh, it's 1.4 everywhere. Alright, so, split in half. Here. And here. Put you guys in half. It's in Uruguay. Let's just keep from revolting. And back to what we were doing. All right. So we have those finished. We'll just wait and get our last couple claims here. And one more 
here. Sorry, I'll probably be good. No, oh, we got some cleavage. Excellent. Alright, so. Doomsday. It's an interesting mechanic, for sure. Alright, hold on. There. There. There as well. Here as well. Hire a new advisor, which we'll do. Apparently, our plus two advisor died. Uh, I guess we'll do a plus one advisor. Wish we could do more. Uh, we'll change that so we're doing 995. We can take a little backseat on the military tech for the time being. Our next guy is going to be a good military guy, and it's not like we're that far behind, or really being one group of behind is really going to kill us. So, Not much repulse risk, much of anywhere. And we're only the Portuguese patriots revolting. So, let's let you guys finish. Let you guys finish, and we'll uh, be back to doing our thing. So, Chuba and Diamante will be done soon. Let's see what we got going on here. Fortify Florida Blanco. Colonize Delaware. Claim a rival's province. We'll do Florida Blanco. Which should be down here, I think. Yep. That extra manpower is going to be crucial. So getting up to about 90,000 would be great. Chubbit is right here. Yep, so we'll do this one next. Much longer on my course. Pretty close, really. Good. Coffee in Honduras. Superb. Alright. Whole bunch of course. Superb. So let's uh court chub it. And send it here. Actually, we got this one that's scored? No, it was close. This must be this. Yes. Let's go that. Move to here. Settle. Yeah, so the only revolt risk we have is Zara. Let's see if we can move any of these troops off of here. Let's be down. 0.74. Looks like about the same everywhere. Well, I think we'll be okay. These two boats they should join up with this fleet over here. U16, let's get you protected trade in the Caribbean. And U15, let's get you pirating the Caribbean. And since we can, can we 
Let me send you guys on a pirate hunt? Yes. Hunt pirates in the Caribbean. But not our pirates. Eh, that's fine. Losing 8,000 manpower is going to kill. Alright, so get a new uh, set of ideas. I know exactly what we're going to choose. Uh, maritime ideas would be good. Trade ideas. Extra merchants would probably be really good for us, so why don't we just do that, try to make some money off of trade, and, uh, well, since we're so far ahead, we'll just take our first idea, global trade power, plus 10%. Let's actually take a look at trade while we're sitting here. So we have 53%, we are collecting from here, which we collect 6 gold from there. Uh, we're not collecting from here, but we don't really need to, we are transferring from Wonder what happened even if we weren't. We took fifty one percent of it here and seventy four percent of it there. But that looks like it's being local outgoing. So we're I wonder what happens. Let's just move it and see what happens. So if we were to move to um the Caribbean we have 13% of, and uh, oh, we do have a merchant there. Alright, so we have a merchant in Panama, Cuyaba, and, and the Caribbean. So Mexico, we have 10% of 3.7. Just wondering if, what would happen if uh, we stopped pushing. I wonder what, what would come in here. So let's find out by let's just move this guy to transfer trade power and see what happens. Okay, so outgoing. Is it still pushing it up this way? Where is it going to? I guess is the question. Yes, so half of it's being pushed this way and half of it's being pushed that way. Now, if I move my guy back here, what happens? Uh, we still only push, well, no, oh, it moves it all, so it's being pushed that way. Alright, that makes better sense. So we'll just keep it there. Time. Sure. Who are you guys at war with? Spain. Good figure. Let's actually get some claims here.
Oops, what the boat? There we go. So we're up to uh, 29 and 18. It's a pretty good fleet. And we'll just keep you hunting pirates in the Caribbean. like Rio Grande de Sol will be done first. Oh, uh, well, let the philosopher remain free. I don't care about prestige points. 25 gold per month. That is, that is just excellent right there. Sushon is now the... making some money. Of course, that's what happens if we go back up to full here. Full army maintenance. Still taking it 14. That's good. We'll stay with that. Truce is up in uh, 1615, so three more years. In that time, we should have this done. So I guess we'll move up to Santa Cantarina. And we should be all good. But uh, I think I will end this video here, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching Boca Place. Have a good one. Goodbye.